Hi there. It was a dark and stormy night in early November 2010, except that it wasn't stormy and not entirely dark since there were street lights around the neighborhood when this strange thingy was recorded on a home security camera. This reportedly happened at a home in Fresno, California, owned by some guy named Jose. No last name. The video was recorded, it was said, onto VHS videotape. This, to me, would indicate a very old system. It also indicates very poor quality. Now, at this point, a local TV station was contacted, and a lady reporter met Jose at his home, and after neither one of them could figure out how to make a direct copy, the woman just used a handheld video camera and recorded off the screen as it was being played. This reduced the quality even more, at this point, someone at MUFON was contacted by the station and asked to authenticate the video as being that of a real alien creature. The video was viewed and Jose was interviewed, but Jose didn't want his face shown, nor did he want the MUFON investigator to go to the home. This wasn't done until about three months later. The video was digitalized and MUFON received a copy transfer that was later shown at a seminar. It was played on a laptop and seen via a projector on a large screen. This is what most people see when searching for this video online. By this time, the video was so badly degraded that any signs of trickery such as lines or wires would be easily obscured by compression, pixelation, and visual noise. Over the years, many have described this thing as looking like a walking pair of pants. Some have suggested visual trickery, such as it being computer-generated animation, although others argued that it looked too real to be CG. These statements would also later be used on an interesting remake of the Nightcrawler video. However, this time, it would become a consensus that it is, in fact, CGI. There were some other issues regarding this one, about its source and the camera placement that also made it suspicious. Some even suggested that this could be a simple superimposed video over video showing stilt walkers in bed sheets. And since this came after the original, it was also considered an attempt to copycat Jose's creatures. Or perhaps these could be the same two creatures still roaming around California. This would seem to validate the original claim, but I wasn't impressed with it. Then came the story of these thingies. Tall tree branches stuck in the ground with carvings of faces at the top. The similarities between these and the night crawlers was so close that it led people to ask which came first. It appears that in an effort to validate, some claim that these carvings were done by the Native Americans who lived in the area and could be found in and around the forested areas in California. The story went on to tell of how they revered them as earth fairies that came from the sky many centuries ago, and so on and so forth. Now this is a complete fabrication. I went so far as to look into the legends and myths of the Yokuts tribe and found absolutely no reference to anything like this. All of their fables involved known animals, especially the coyote, who was believed to be the main protagonist in their history. Where these photos were taken is anyone's guess. My trusty assistant Summer and I have spent a month trying to find any leads to where these are or were located with zero results for our efforts. The few leads we did get led to dead ends. The source of the photos are also a little suspicious since the original report was that they came from someone in Florida who got them from some lady in New Jersey. Not exactly groundbreaking info. Now, as far as I'm concerned, these are nothing more than some artist's attempt at expressionism usually contracted by government agencies to adorn their outside space. In this case, it was said to have been a DMV office. And in pondering the existence of something like these creatures, most people would have an impossible time swallowing it. Even the most open-minded individual would no doubt be asking all kinds of questions like, is this an earth animal? If so, then why doesn't it represent the biology of any other earth animal? 
Why haven't we seen these before? And why only these two videos? Could they be extraterrestrial? If so, then why are they here? Did they find Jose's front yard just so damn interesting that they had to take a look? How can they live in our atmosphere? Do they breathe air? Through what? Where is the mouth? Do they eat? How can they eat with no arms? How can they eat with no mouth? Is their mouth at the bottom of their feet? Why are they wearing pajamas? Time to send in the experts, namely these guys from Fact or Faked, who, after considerable effort, managed to prove nothing except that they need a new puppet maker. So why the hell not? Here we have yet another one of these weird-looking videos showing yet another weird-looking pajama creature walking across someone's backyard. Namely, my backyard. As rough as this is, I thought that this is the way the original was done. Now this was my third attempt after the glide line at the top broke and I was forced to use just the fishing line on both legs to pull it along. Pajamas with some duct tape at the top holding a hook and uh, pulled along a wire is all this is. Since this was recorded in full daylight, I had to make some lighting adjustments and also added video noise to cover the wire. Interestingly, I couldn't make out the fishing line, just the wire. Another fine example of me hoaxing, and like I said, this was my third attempt. And I learned something while doing this. The effort improves with each attempt, and that is interesting because what most of us had seen of the original wasn't the first try at all. It was the second. The first is far more telling when we look at it. The legs barely move at all, which is strange considering how the little one moves and it looks like the legs aren't propelling it. In fact, it looks like it's gliding as if being pulled along a wire. At one point it even stops. Pee break perhaps, or just the puppeteer ran out of room behind him. This video required a lot of stabilization, but at the end of this video, well, I don't know about you, but it sure looks to me like it sways back and forth and up and down like it's hanging from something. You know, like like a wire. This is Para Breakdown, and thanks for watching.